Grab your bin bags, it's time for a clear out. <laughs> yes, you think I'm joking, but I'm not. Eight designer bag trends that are going out of style. Oh my God, you gotta get rid of these bags. I mean, it'd be just so embarrassing to be going around with any of these handbags. You keep doing you, but listen to this. Before we go on, I wanna give a big shout out to a beautiful subscriber, Clarissa Anti-Aging Dermatology. Hi to you, my love. Mwah. We could all do a bit of advice going on here. And before we go on, of course, the fragrance of the day is kind of matching my jacket today. We're feeling autumn, we're feeling spicy. So inside in Angel Share, we have a warm, woody, spicy, powdery vanilla. She's got praline, she's got cognac, she's got sandalwood. Mm. I cannot stop. I know you're probably sick of me sharing this fragrance, but do you know what now I have to say? I don't really care because I love this fragrance and I want to tell you and shout it from the rooftops. Look how much I've used. There's a couple I'm using over and over, I'm sure. They'll probably be finished by the end of this fall winter, but you know, it is perfect. So to any hubbies out there looking in or anybody else that wants to buy something beautiful for their partner, this. Ah, she has that powdery, spicy, warm, woody, vanilla, praline, tonka bean that I just adore. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see a couple of bags behind me here. Some of them are relevant and some of them are not. I brought them out just for a little bit of eye candy. And yes, today we're talking about the eight designer bag trends that are out of style for 2022. They are no more going into 2023. So if you want to get ready, you stick around with me to know the ones to get rid of. Get the black bin bag, throw them in there. Do your declutter, make yourself feel good, bring them to charity, do whatever you want. Or as I said, if you just want to hold on to them and you keep doing you, well then that's what you do as well. Okay, okay. 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 Oh, okay, cool. In at number eight, in at the top and wait, till the bottom. So in at number eight, the bag style trend that is out. It has been in for seasons. I still love it. It's beautiful, but this is what they say. The fashion police, this is what they say. So the nylon bag. Yes, we all know and love this Prada 2005 re-edition. It was a stunner. It is an iconic bag. It's always going to be an iconic bag. But, you know, my higher echelons of people have told me it's a no more going into 2023. This bag is on its way out. The trend is over. Nylon bags are no more. Now, as I said, my daughter Katie has this bag and she absolutely loves it. So if you love yours, you rock it. And don't mind the fashion police. Let them do what they want. Do you know what I mean? It saturated the market and now people are looking for, of course, the usual, the next trendy big thing because we're never satisfied, are we? No. We're just never satisfied. We're always looking around the corner to see what's coming in next. Oh yeah, that's what we do, baby. That's what we do. You know, I'm sick of that one now. It's been on my shelf for six weeks, God forbid. The bag that is apparently going to kind of, not overtake it, but in its place for 2023 is the bowling bag. There's a beautiful Prada Supernova bowling bag that is, I think it's in around $3,000. It is beautiful. Actually, it reminds me of my Givenchy Antigona that I love so much. And it is a beauty. There's a picture picture there and if you like that bag apparently the bowling bag is coming in big strong and heavy as bowling bags do she had her coffee this morning in at number seven neon bags oh my god i have to say i loved the lime green neon bags and i wanted to get the bottega lime green the bottega green and i didn't Am I glad? I kind of am. I still love it, to be very honest, but it was always going to be, you know, it wasn't always going to stay around forever. So I'm talking about the pink neon, say, Cagol bags like the Balenciaga. The highlighter yellow. Again, Balenciaga. Neon, neon, neon. Balenciaga did it. Prada did it. It was all over the place. And yes, they were beautiful for summer. Like fall, winter, I mean, when the leaves are falling and when the rain is changing and our mood is changing, I can't see anybody going to rock, you know, a neon bag. I, I just can't see it. So in their place, apparently is coming the metallics. In, strong, heavy, glittery, and pow, your silvers, your gold. You're gonna be a sparkly little Christmas tinsel. You're gonna be up there on the Christmas tree. You're gonna be going to the ball with your bag, your silver, your gold, your beautiful, stylish, night out bag. That is what's replacing the neon bags. And as I said, the Balenciaga Cagoa bag was way up there. 
I suppose, responsible for this trend. Coming in at number six is crochet bags. Crochet bags were all over the place. People wanted a unique, beautiful, you could see the contents of what they had, their private life inside their little bags, their intimate things that were showing to all the world. Showing their wares, as your mother would say. Don't be showing your wares. Prada had a uh, crochet bag. There was lots of crochet bags around. People are now tired of them. Again, they're quite summery. They're quite beachy, you know, sissy, beachy bags. They're not going to be, you know, useful in the rain and in the cold and in the wind. Stuff has fallen out of your bag all over the place and the wind and the thunder is, 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 is making your bag fall to pieces. That's just not going to work for fall winter. It's just not. This is not gonna work. You've gotta take life a little bit more seriously. And inside we are coming in strong with the briefcase bag. Now I love this trend. I love it. There is a Prada one again, briefcase bag. But oh my God, I've seen the most amazing one in Louis Vuitton. Lydia Elise Millen has it. It is the briefcase trunk. Oh my God, it's like the vintage shrunk down version of the iconic vintage trunk with the S lock. It is stunning and amazing. I've looked it up online. I'd say it's only on special order. I'm not sure, but it is so beautiful. I want it. It's gorgeous and anything trunk wise, that's why I think as well, I love my Pichette Matisse because it has the S lock. Love, love, love. But if that's not your budget, the Prada have a beautiful briefcase style bag and I think it's gorgeous. But I'm just actually noticing there, there's a trend with me between briefcase, satchel. Hmm, I'm a bit of a nerd maybe. Possibly, you know. In at number five, we are going to talk about the beautiful, the very boho basket bag that we all love and adore. Again, iconic. Again, amazing. It's a summer staple that will always be there. Yes, it's out for now. It's the basket bag. Loewe did some beautiful ones. I think Mew Mew did a couple of beautiful ones. They're just so beautiful. They're not so trendy anymore. Not so practical either for autumn, winter. You know, it's kind of a seasonal thing here as well. They will be back next summer. I don't know if they'll be back as strong. They're Probably, you know, the fashion gods up there will probably come out with something else so that we can't use last year's Loewe bag because God forbid we got more than 12 months out of a bag. I mean, that would just, that would just be a sin. It's a sin. And she's off. <laughs> <laughs> They are out, my dear friends. And what's in then, dear Vivian? What is in instead of basket bags? Well, let me tell you, my friends, what's in instead of basket bags are more slouchy, more practical, more functional bags. Think hobo, think Bottega Veneta on the shoulder with your antracchiato. Think Givenchy with a beautiful hobo, with a beautiful clasp. Very much in. Functional, practical, comfortable. That's what we're thinking for autumn winter. That's why I like this one. She's, she's comfortable. She's comforting. I like a big warm hug. That's what you want out of your bags for autumn winter. You want them to be comfortable and practical and functional above all. So have a look at some of those bags because they are in. In at number four is, you're not going to like me for this one. I don't even like myself for this one. Mini bags, mini bags, mini bags. And I had to bring out two of mine because look, again, you do you. I'm, mine aren't going anywhere. They're staying right where they are. They'll always have a home. Just because someone tells me mini bags aren't in doesn't mean I'm going to get my black bag and throw them out. No, 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 no. I'm not. I don't care what you say, okay? I'm not getting rid of them. They're mine. They're like your, your children when they get to a certain age and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm done with you now. Off you go. I don't think so. Nailed it. So these will be staying around. You'll be sick of looking at these and I hope you'll be the same with some of your bags. But if you're going out to buy something straight away, if you want to be on trend, now, You've seen Fendi have come out with so many beautiful, beautiful different alternatives to this. They've the sparkly green and the lilacs and the purples and they're doughty, doughty, doughty. I love them. So no, it's not going anywhere. Actually, I've told you before how practical this little beauty was on my holidays. And yes, she comes with the long, I'm not going to do a review of her, but just, just, just for my new subscribers that mightn't have seen her. The quality of this strap is to die for, right? Which, of course, I love the whole little top handle thing. I got that one. I think it was either dress up my purse or organize your bag. Links are down below. I can't remember which one it was, to be honest with you. But love it. She's doughty. She's not going anywhere. And if you're to have one or two, I don't think that is a problem. Because, my dear friend, variety is the spice of life. And yeah, we all know it was Jacques Mousse. Le Chiquitito. Le Chiquitito. Diddle Di Do. Diddle Di Do. You know it's from Ireland, wouldn't you? And so she was the. He, she was to blame for that iconic bag that came in. But people are retiring her, my dear friends. People are now going for comfort and function over style and trends. That's what they're at, you know? 
So, I mean, you can't blame them for that. You really can't. Again, they're going for the slouchy, the big, huge oh, hobo. Come on. Who hasn't seen this beauty? Who? YSL, I care, E care, I care, I care. I care, you care, who cares? It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. It's slouchy. I've looked at it in Brent Thomas in Dublin. She's a beauty. She's $4,400. Yes, she's gorgeous. But in a couple of years, there'll be one of those that'll be sitting there going, Jesus, what am I gonna? But the only thing is, is that bag is practical. She fits everything you're ever going to need in that bag. If you're a cool girl, you probably have that bag, of course. And you know, she is, she'll double up as a travel bag, which is, Amazing and yes, very practical. You can just see all the pop stars, supermodels, all the cool celebs wearing this bag. She's adorable. Will I be buying her? Probably not because I have something similar, which is a kind of a crocodile skin, which was Zagliani, Zaglioni, Zagliani, put in a picture and she's a beauty. I was going to sell her, but I might as well hang on to her now. I couldn't sell her anyway. Nobody seemed to want her. And I paid 2,000 euro back in the day for that bag. So let's just hold on to her, Viv. She just doesn't have YSL plastered all over, but a beautiful bag. So that is what's in. And the mini bags are are out. Somebody at the door. Hold that thought. Sorry about that. The delivery guys always seem to come when it's just not convenient, you know. Not giving out, you know. Moving on to number two. Number two, my dear friends, is it could be said that logomania is on its way out. Like when you look at the Pochette Matisse or the multi pochette accessoire, they are both kind of, if you like, people would say, some, a lot of people would say they're out of date, they're outdated, I wouldn't wear them, they were in, they were out. I personally think this is a classic, you can get in the Empreant and all the different sizes, the East West is in now as well. But yes, they don't seem to be as popular. I know a lot of people are sick of some of the houses at the moment and the price increases, so that could be an, uh, another kind of element that adds to this whole kind of problem. For me, I absolutely love this bag. Don't probably carry it as much as I could could carry it, but I do love her. She's a beauty and you know, actually it's 10 years anniversary, the 10th year anniversary of the Pochette Matisse this year. So for me, I think she's a classic. Again, I just said the S-Lock. I love it because she reminds me of the trunks and just, just love everything about this bag. But the multi pochette accessoire, I did like it. I'm not, I'm not, that's a lie. I did like it, but I just thought, mm, there's a lot going on. It was all over social media. And I think people are, might be going towards a little bit more of a, you know, a slim down kind of understated aesthetic. Aesthetic. Now that's some people because wait for number one. Number one, my number one point is structured bags. Are they going out? Like if you look at the Givenchy Antigona, again, people will say outdated, gone, Viv. Like this was 10 years, no, I won't say 10, maybe five years ago, celebs everywhere were wearing this bag. It was all over social media, which it was. But a lot of people are saying it's too structured, it's too boxy, the trapezoid shape is just gone. Because of all the slouchy and comfortable bags that are in right now, people are saying that this kind of structured bag is gone. Like you could kind of say the Chanel Jumbo is another one. It's a very structured bag, it's a very large bag. People are saying that's out at the moment. But as we know, Fashion is cyclical. So you might say that this kind of trend is over and it's all about less logos. But I mean, if you look at, there's a lot of big buckle kind of bags coming in for next year. Miu Miu have a couple of really beautiful ones. The buckles and the clasps and the clips and basically heavy hardware, a lot of heavy hardware coming in. And I actually like this bag for the reason of the zip, which is quite thick and chunky kind of hardware, which I love. I think there's a bit of a boy in me. I love all that kind of stuff. So it's up to yourself. You know, you play around, you find your own style. Don't listen to anybody else. Listen for a bit of entertainment and a bit of, yeah, I agree with you. No, I absolutely do not agree with you. Pick the couple of points out of it that you like. Pick the bags that work for you. Don't listen to anybody else. Just kind of go, yes, no, maybe. Thanks for that. I'm moving on. And that's pretty much it. It's easy, like, you know, don't be minding what everyone else is saying to you. Just don't. Just you do you. So that's it, my lovelies. Until next time, can't wait to talk to you again. Keep commenting down below what you would like to see next time because you're really getting good at all the comments and you're interacting down below. And I'm getting back to all of you slowly but surely. And thank you so much. And until next time, be kind, be safe and be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah. <laughs> whoa, president. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, guys. It's not over. Sorry, guys. My delivery guy completely distracted me there and I missed one. Yes, I did. I missed number three, the belt bags. Yeah, they're gone. Nobody wants the belt bags anymore. They were great. They were trendy. They were everywhere. People were wearing them across their bodies. People were wearing them around their waists. It was a massive trend. 
And as I spoke about the buckle bags, they are replacing buckle bags with the massive hardware, the buckles, the clasps, the clips, they are replacing the belt bags. That trend is over and Miu Miu have beautiful buckle bags. There's a lot of other ones too. I know Balenciaga have a lot of great bags with lots of hardware on it. So you do you. Glad I got that point in. Mwah. <laughs>